Lesson 31, Curves and Regions, Example 3. We have to show the locus specified by 3 times the modulus of z minus 2 plus 2i is equal to the modulus of z minus 6 plus 6i is a circle. And then we write down its radius and the coordinates at the center. This is, this is purely algebraic. So uh, let's replace, have a look at what's inside this one. So let's start off with, say that, oh, wrong color, sorry. So this is z minus 2 plus 2i is equal to x plus iy minus 2 minus 2i. And that's equal to x minus 2 plus i into y minus 2. So that's equal to the square root of x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared. Now, similarly for the other one, we see that z minus 6 plus 6i will be equal to x plus i y minus 6 minus 6i, which gives me x minus 6 plus i into y minus 6, which gives me the square root of x minus 6 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared. Okay, now going back into the original equation, we'll have 3 times the square root of x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared equals the square root of x minus 6 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared. Squaring both sides and, and, and not forgetting to square this, we get 9 outside of x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared equals x minus 6, <coughs> excuse me, y minus 6 all squared. Let's just move this down a bit for more room. Right, now I'm going to take this inside, but as I do, I'm going to take it inside that uh, bracket. So that will become 3x minus 6 all squared plus 3y minus 6 all squared equals x minus 6 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared. And you could expand all this out, but it's a slightly different technique. Now I'll take, leave this on this side, bring this across, all squared is equal to y minus 6 all squared minus 3y minus 6 all squared. And you see, now I've got the difference of two squares, so that becomes, now um, adding these ones together, we're going to get 4x minus 12, and then subtracting them, we're just going to get 2x, and on this side we're going to get Adding those two together, we get 4y minus 12. And subtracting them, we're going to get, um, that will be minus 2y, isn't it? So, minus 2y. Right, now, we've got a common factor of see 2 here and another 4 there's a common factor of 8 and that will give me uh, x minus 3 times x and this will be 8 outside of y minus 3 minus y put a minus sign there if you like okay All right now the 8's go out and we get more room 
x squared minus 3x equals minus y squared plus 3y. Okay, now take this across the other side. I get x squared minus 3x, leaving a gap, plus y squared minus 3y equals 0. Now let's change the colour here. Now half this coefficient and squared, I'm going to get 3 on 2 squared is 9 on 4. And a 9 on 4 here. And that will give me 9 on 2 on the other side. Plus 9 on 2 on the other side. So now this becomes more room x minus 3 on 2 all squared plus y minus 3 on 2 all squared is equal to 9 on 2. Right. So this is a, a circle, the centre of which the centre is 3 on 2, 3 on 2. And the radius is equal to the square root of 9 on 2 and tied up becomes 3 on root 2. And we rationalise that and we get 3 root 2 over 2 as the radius of the circle.